Hello, welcome to a segment of You, Me, and T featuring my car, featuring the school that I student teach at. I'm sitting in the parking lot on my lunch break, and I just need to talk because I'm pretty frustrated lately, so I need to get some things out. I'm in my teacher clothes. I got this shirt at the thrift store. It's got penguins on it. It's pretty rad. <sighs> so lately, I've been very dissatisfied with my life, okay? I'm just gonna straight out, you, me, and teas are supposed to be honest, okay? First of all, I have my tea. It's from Circle K, super great. It's a gas station that's around here. So I have my tea and we're gonna chat and I'm gonna be honest, okay? So the life that I've been living has not been very satisfying and this is why. My whole life has been student teaching and working at um, a new job I just got. I got a job as a server at a place called Aladdin's, which is like Middle Eastern food. It's a restaurant and I'm a server, which is a fancy term for a waitress. <laughs> Putting my windows down because it's hot in here. Like that's been my whole life. I've been doing student teaching and then working and then student teaching and then working. And I haven't had any time for fun. It's been all work and no play for this little, little bean. And I don't like it. And it's like deteriorating my being. And I know that's super dramatic, but that's how I feel. I've been trying to keep up with my YouTube videos. I've been doing covers and I just wrote a song the other day that I'm, I plan on posting for you guys. And so I'm still doing that as like a creative thing. I, I just, uh, I'm not getting any deep connections with people. I'm not getting any like solid friendships. Almost all the people who I really care about, who I'm close to, do not live in my hometown. So I'm staying at home while I'm student teaching and no one lives here anymore. There's one, one of my friends is in Norway. My boyfriend is in Scotland. My, one of my best friends is in Toledo. And then I have a bunch of friends that are just scattered all around and we're not from the same area. And I've met them over my life that I'm really close to and they're just not, the, you know, one lives in Cleveland, one lives in, um, one lives in England. I, I have all these friends from a bunch of different places and it's a great thing except uh, when I'm living at home for student teaching and for working, um, I don't get to like hang out with any of them. So that's been really sucky. I haven't gone out in like two or three weeks. Like, is this adulting? Is this my whole life now? It's just teaching, working, teaching, working. Is this my whole being? Is this going to be forever? Every day I'm student teaching and during my planning periods, I'm trying to do all my lesson plans so that I can get home and relax. So I get home and I relax for a little bit. I watch Netflix. I watch The Office or I watch Borderline or I watch Friends, whatever, some chick flick movie, whatever I can find. And I watch that for about two hours, eat a snack, have to go to work. When I come back from work, I go right to bed and I restart the whole thing the next day and I don't have any social interaction with people. <sighs> I just feel so bored. This is such a boring life. And some people live their whole lives like this. I don't understand. I, I mean, I've always known I'm kind of, I'm a more creative person. And like my counselor, who I went to all through college, told me that like, I am different. Like I, I perceive the world in a different way. So I'm not at the your basic level of just get a job, make money, find a husband, die. That's not the life I'm going to live because that's boring and I'll probably die sooner if I live life that way, if you get what I'm saying, because I'll be so bored out of my mind. And some people live their whole lives like this, which is baffling to me. If I don't have adventure, if I don't have inconsistency, I start to lose my marbles. And this is what this is. I know this isn't going to last forever. Like I'm leaving for Spain and, you know, a little bit over a month. And I'm just really looking forward to that. But I'm not looking forward too much to it because I don't want to put too much pressure on it to be the best thing ever. Because what if it doesn't turn out to be the best thing ever? What if my host family doesn't talk to me? Or what if they're, I don't know, I can't relate to them. What if I end up doing more work with teaching at my Spanish school and I don't have time to travel on the weekends like I've been planning? I've been planning to travel when I'm in Spain, folks. I'm gonna go to Barcelona and Madrid and maybe even Portugal, and maybe even I'll go to France, because why the heck not? Because I'm right there, and flights are pretty cheap. So, anyway, I need some adventure. I, I just, I need to go somewhere with people, and just be with people. I just don't like doing this. Hmm. 
putting my tea over here. This is not product placement. This is not sponsored. I just, I just eat Reese's cups because this is my comfort food. So deal with it. I'm really trying to stay positive through this whole thing. I have like four or five more weeks of doing this student teaching and working lifestyle. And I'm trying to be positive about it, but today is just, I'm just so frustrated. I don't know. I know this isn't going to go on for much longer, but I'd rather it be a joyous time, or at least I want to make the most of it. I don't want these next five weeks to be torture. Ugh. Do any of you feel this way? Like, are any of you stuck in this, like, rut in your life where you're just working, 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 and all work, no play, and it's just not fun, and you know you won't do it for the rest of your life, but, like, you know that you have to do it for a certain amount of time, and it's just really looming and ominous, and it's destroying your spirit. Does anyone else feel that way? <laughs> Does anyone else feel those really complicated emotions? Another thing is, I've been wanting to record an album for you guys for a long time, and I've been wanting to just get out some solo music and, I don't know, put it up on Bandcamp, put it up on Spotify, because you guys keep asking me, when's she going to put music on Spotify? When's she going to put music on iTunes? And I really, really want to, but also I have no, I don't have time to record, and I don't have money to record. And that sucks because my spirit is like, you. my heart is like, you need to do music. You need to create things. You need to write. And I just don't have time to do it. And I don't have the energy to do it most of the time because all I do is work. Oh, man. Anyway, sorry this was kind of a rant sesh, but I just feel like I need to get some of these vibes out into the world. And you guys can comment below if you think, if you feel the same way or what, or how... If you have tips on how to, like, make it better. Because I'm trying to, like, find joy in every day. And I do look forward to watching Netflix every time I come home. And work really isn't that bad. It's just... <sighs> I don't know. Days hit me sometimes where I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to get up at all. And I don't want to do this at all. And no one else seems to, like, see it as such a drastic thing. Except for me. Like, people were like, oh, just get through it. Five weeks. Right. Well, that's five freaking weeks. I have to pretend I'm having a good time. Okay. I gotta go. Comment below. Uh, see you on my next video.